Hi everybody! Alright, so today's video is a tag video and it's the starting over tag. So essentially what this tag is, is you show your 10 products you would repurchase right away, um, say in the event that your makeup was stolen or lost or something happened. So the 10 things you would repurchase right away. Um, so I thought this was a fun tag. It made me kind of go through and pick out like my holy grail items and then some items that are a little bit more affordable that I really liked as well because if I lost all my makeup, I wouldn't want to buy all high-end <laughs> because that would be a lot of money to fork out right away. Um, but I did pick out some high-end things that I think are worth the money and that I would totally repurchase right away because I use them on a daily basis. So, um, so yeah, let's get into the 10 things I would repurchase right away. <laughs> there are a few drugstore items that I repurchased that um, I think work just as well as high-end and that way it saves me money and I'm still getting good quality products. So, and then there's some high-end stuff. So I'll start with the face and we'll wait, work our way up from <laughs> the face. First thing I would purchase is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, this is currently my Holy Grail face coverage. I, I am on the hunt for a new foundation, um, new skin coverage, so if you guys have any recommendations. But for now, this would be the thing I would repurchase because it just makes my skin look nice. I have it on today, and as you guys know, I do really love this. <laughs> Next, I would also get a concealer from IT Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye. This one happens to be the waterproof. I also have the regular one that comes in the black tube. I just don't know where I put it at the moment. Um, but they're exactly the same, to be honest. Just different packaging, in my opinion. Just a nice, heavy-duty under eye concealer that's really highly pigmented, and it's nice and moisturizing. This concealer is just really nice. I use the color Neutral Medium. And just cancels out the darkness and the eye bags really well. So, yes, it's pricey, but I use it every day. So, I would have to pick that up. Alright, next bronzer. I wouldn't want to spend a lot of money, so I would just go ahead and pick up the Milani one from the drugstores. This is the Baked Bronzer and Sienna. Um, it's affordable. It does the job well. I have it on today as bronzer, and I've been liking it a lot. So, that's what I would pick up for my bronzer. Blush, I would splurge and get something I really love. So, I was having a hard time deciding between this Becca blush and Gypsy from Becca as well. But I decided to go with this one. This is Flower Child because it's kind of more of like a peachy pink color. Just like a really perfect everyday color that goes with a lot of different makeup options. So, I chose this blush. It's so pretty. Let's put some on. It just is such a nice, beautiful, glowy blush. And it just... That's why I chose the Becca blush because it gives me nice coverage on the cheeks but it also gives me like that healthy radiant glow so I don't have to wear a highlighter. So definitely would pick up Flower Child. It was hard to decide between my Becca blushes but this is the one that I think is most suitable for everyday wear and peachy toes really just kind of give you health so just to kind of make me look alive. Alright eyebrows, I would totally go get my dip brow. This is Soft Brown from Anastasia. It's the dip brow. It's the dip brow. It's the dip. It's the dip brow pomade. This just saves my life and my eyebrows. So I would definitely need to get this. I'm assuming that my makeup brushes did not meet tragedy and weren't stolen from me. So I didn't include any makeup brushes. I just include strictly makeup. <laughs> Then I would most definitely need an eye primer because I have very oily eyelids and I just suffer from creasing problems. I have hooded eyes and stuff like that. So I definitely need an eye primer all the time. Every day I wear eyeshadow. So I chose to go drugstore route as well. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, it's lightweight and visible finish and it works well on all skin tones. Um, this is very comparable to me to the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I also really love, but I would save myself some money and buy this one instead because it works just as well as the Too Faced. So that's the eye primer I would have to buy. Next, I would buy a palette and the one palette I would buy most definitely is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This palette I just adore every single color in here. It's just a great variety and I would be set with this. If I only had to use one palette for the rest of my life, this would be it and I'd be happy and fine with that because it makes me happy and I'm always in love with any kind of eye look I come up with with this palette. So 
this would this would obviously be an investment and pricey for me to repurchase but if I didn't have anything else but if I lost my whole makeup collection and didn't have any eyeshadows I would definitely pick up this um, it was a close tie between makeup geek eyeshadows as well if I lost all my makeup and had no makeup with me I'd want to be able to buy something I can go and grab at the store so if Makeup Geek was sold in stores, then that would have been a harder decision to choose between because, yeah, they're real, really good. But since I can go pick this up at my local Ulta or Sephora, I chose this and I love it. And I would be happy with my life if I had that in it. <laughs> Alright, um, next is for eyeliner. I would pick up the Essence Gel Eyeliner. And the reason I would pick this up because it's long lasting, it's a matte finish, it's a really good eyeliner for the price, it's like $3.99 so I'd save myself some money and it works just as well as high end brand. So I definitely really like this gel eyeliner and that's what I would pick up to use for my eyeliner. And this eyeliner works well on the waterline for me as well, it stays in place and it's waterproof and budge proof so I really like it. You know I would need a mascara, so this Giordana Bust Lash Extreme, it's really affordable at the drugstore, it's $2.99 and it would do the job perfectly fine for me and I'm really happy with this mascara. It has your standard um, mascara brush tip, but it just works really well, it's really dramatic, very volumizing, and really kapow lashes in your face. Last but not least would be a lip product, and I decided to choose Bite Beauty's Rose Lipstick, and that's what I have on now. Toss up between this and Fig from Bite Beauty, because those are my two favorite lipsticks. I chose this one because I was choosing the warmer blush, and I just felt like it would complement very well, and I just really love the color. It's a perfect everyday wearable pink. It's nice and rosy, and just a beautiful lip color and I just truly enjoy it. This color just is such a beautiful color. It's perfect for everyday wear. Just a swatch of it right there. So you can see it goes really well with the Becca Flower Child blush as well. So it just kind of gives me a nice completed whole makeup look. And those are the 10 items I repurchase right away if my makeup ever happened to disappear, get stolen, or go to a parallel universe. I don't know what happened to it, but if something happened to my makeup, I wanted to look put together and only could buy 10 items. These are the things I would want in my life. And I would be perfectly happy and fine and content with this for my whole makeup kit for the rest of forever. So these are my holy grail ride or die things that I love so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't done this tag yet, I totally tag you guys. I'll also tag some people down in the description bar as well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye everybody.